Welcome, everybody. This is Sun Headlines. I'm Alex Plant with the latest news from Sun Microsystems. Today, we're joined by Tim Marslin to learn a little more about VirtualBox, the world's most popular open source virtualization platform. Welcome to the program. I'm glad to be here. So, Tim, the word virtualization is becoming more familiar, but what exactly is VirtualBox? VirtualBox is a desktop virtualization solution. Um, it enables you to run multiple operating systems on your laptop or workstation at the same time. And who uses VirtualBox? Uh, it's basically two classes of user. There's, and often they overlap too, but there's basically developers who use it for testing and developing their software on multiple operating systems without having to have multiple machines on, on which to install those operating systems. Then there's a bunch of people who, I guess, is occasionally like me, who want to be able to run um, different applications on other operating systems which aren't necessarily available on the application that, on the operating system that's running on their workstation or laptop at the time. That's a really very common use, not just for developers, but in fact for many people in the, in the desktop virtualization space. And what makes this virtualization platform so unique? Well, one of the things is it's actually a, an open source platform. There's a, a very busy community, um, virtualbox.org. People can go there, re read about VirtualBox, and also download it from there. But it actually has a bunch of product capabilities, which are interesting, too. For example, it has a very modular architecture, which allows you to plug in device support for all sorts of different devices and protocols really easily. It has an external management API, which um, enables you to interface to it really easily, too. But one of the most compelling things is the, is the breadth of support for different guest operating systems and different host operating systems. That is, I can run VirtualBox on a Windows laptop, on a, on a Mac OS laptop, on an OpenSolaris laptop, or on a Linux laptop, and be able to host operating systems as diverse as OS2, Windows XP, OpenSolaris, Ubuntu, anything you want to try out in it. In fact, if you go to YouTube and type in the keyword VirtualBox, you can see a whole bunch of interesting videos people have, have uh, uploaded where they are showing their experiences with VirtualBox and the kind of things it can do. It's a really very cool piece of software. Well, this sounds fantastic, but how much does it cost? Well, I think that we need to kind of shout it from the rooftops. It's free. For personal use, you just download it and go. Well, thank you for joining us. Thanks very much. For more information on the virtual box, just go to sun.com slash virtual box or follow the links at the end of the show. That's it for this edition of Sun Headlines. I'm Alex Plant. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.